Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legacy of Cain Defiance. I'm Kulikin Dragoon. In the last episode, we got the uh, Fire Reaver here, because it's awesome. It's such awesomeness. We managed to find another health artifact and increase... Uh, increase Raziel's overall health. We talked to Ariel, the, bow the slight balance guardian, and she told us things that we basically... She told us where we could find Vorador, because now we know that Vorador is the, uh, the forger of the Reaver, and so we're going to go talk to Vorador and attempt to figure out why on Earth the Reaver tries to eat our soul. I don't think it's hungry, you know. So we're going to try and figure out why why it does that. Uh, she's told us at, that at this point, because of Mobius's uh, constraints that have obviously altered the timeline and allowed him to get, have this kind of vampiric crusade, that Cain and Mordor are the only two vampires left in existence. And she said, and she believes Raziel to be working for the person who killed her, and said that his name, our name, will remain unspoken. More than likely, a lot of you guys have, you know, have if you've watched all of my videos at this point, you've seen the entirety of Soul Reaver 2, you've seen all of Blood Omen 2, then you guys can probably figure out who she's referring to. It's not super hard. But uh, I, I won't say anything yet. Just for the fun of it. You guys are everywhere. And personally, if I was a vampire hunter, let's see here. Guy shows up. Blue skin, ruined wings on his back. Has a monstrous flaming sword that just comes out of his hand, almost seemingly at will. Personally, I'm not the, not the kind of guy I really think I want to mess with. Maybe that's just me personally. Uh, Almost completely full, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Oh, look, more people. Also, one of the things is a very different approach of uh, telekinetic abilities between, really between both uh, Raziel and Cain. When it comes to Cain, and when we look at Cain's own uh, telekinetic abilities, what we really see uh, in Cain 
is we see the, you know, we can grab, we can throw people with it. But when it comes to Raziel, we don't really do that. We can push. Just kind of hit them with it. Alright, do I need... I have a hard time believing that I would, but I don't know. Let's test this first. I did. They put it right on there. I couldn't see it because this... Hey. Back to the physical plane. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I remember what I was saying before I interrupted by one of the cutscenes. The, the thing is, like, okay. In all the rest of the games, when Raziel is coming from the from the underworld, the spectral realm, to this one, we see he's using portals, and in the first game, it's kind of implied that he's uh, wheeling together a matter body. This game is like, okay, we don't have those portals anymore, so now basically what we're doing is we're inhabiting corpses. And we're getting, and we're using those corpses to move back and forth between the, uh... I think I'm gonna get another one, yeah. First... You. But, uh... Yeah, so it's like, we're, so that's what it, it, it's... So that's how we're doing it. In this game, we're, you know, obviously, we're moving back and forth, we've got... Uh, come on, come on. Come on, I'm gonna beat you. There we go. Good. Give me your soul. I hunger. Look! It's the Vampire Citadel. Anyway, that's not important. <laughs> that's where we left Kane off at. first. Yeah. 
can't open the portal. I was transported to another ancient vampire chamber. This one apparently aligned with the elemental power of air. Really? I wonder what gave that away. <laughs> These murals had suffered some damage. Once again, I recognized the vampire's hero. But this scene revealed something new. For here they had also depicted his destined adversary, now partially obscured, who seemed to bear a flaming sword. Dun 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 dun. Shinies, shinies, I see no shinies. So now the other shide of the equation is coming. The other side of the equation, where now we're kind of seeing their adversaries. Obviously, the Hilden, we already know this. Raziel doesn't technically know anything about the Hilden at this point. But the Hilden, the ancient enemies of the original vampires who were blue skinned and winged. Not nice for them. Seriously, why are there so many corpses just lying around this citadel? Chance is that. The bliss of death. I offer it. But I do not accept. Dun, 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 dun. so hard. That's the one I already fought. 
Always. I always end up going back to the ones I've already fought. What's through here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Looks like ways up. That doesn't really matter much to us. I believe everything we should be looking for should be down here on this first level. that there's a corpse for me to inhabit. <laughs> I demand answers. Another health run. to just getting that one thing. I am all for it. <laughs> Alright, now let's go fall down that hole. Oh, hello. You two share the curse. Submit and be released. Never. Well, that's nails on a chalkboard if I ever heard one. Raziel, let's kick some guardian boot day. So that'll be one of those deals where, like, what on earth is going through you guys' heads? And he's not a vampire anymore, but he's still very much in line. Vampire prophecy and ideals, since he now wields the Reaper. side of that door. I just knew it was going to be there. Thanks to our spectral sword.
As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the Mind and Dimension Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of air with which their principles were aligned. This one on fire, so now we're getting into this kind of this area. Where for, uh, I think it's a couple of them, I don't think it's all of them, but a decent amount of them are a kind of do the opposite of what is needed here. Not necessarily all going to be the same.
Where is it? First time I ever went through this, I actually sat back and I tried to think. There's no stairs or anything in this place, so how on earth do they you know, travel between? Oh, wait a second. That's a stupid question. That's already answered. Half. Somebody said destroy it. Ooh, wet wear. As we've seen, the original vampires looked like Janos Odrin. They were blue skinned and had wings. They didn't need stairs. <laughs> uh, this episode's starting to get a little bit longer so I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here in the next episode we'll be moving into the Black Forest to see Vordor we'll probably be going to Kane's next mission which will be Kane's first mission inside the Vampire Citadel so I will see you guys next time thanks for watching and take care